welcome back or welcome to my channel black cat tarot so today i'm continuing the mbti readings or Myers briggs personality type readings and today we're covering esfjs what do esfjs need to know right now i'll go ahead and start off with some tarot three of swords in reverse huh Queen of Cups, the Knight of Cups, okay, that's cool, <laughs> that's a bit too many cards, put that back, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take all of these because I, I feel really called to, I'm seeing some interesting stuff happening with you guys. A lot of a lot of emotional change. Like if I put this in order that makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Okay. Let's get you guys some numerology cards. That's a lot. What do ESFJs? What do ESFJs need to know right now? Okay, I'm gonna take that one. I'm feeling a lot of emotional energy from this deck. I mean, not deck, group. You guys have had a lot happening with your emotional state or states. Let's see here. Let's get you guys a green rhetorical card. What do this for? Healing, oh my gosh, I love that with the star healing. That's really great. That's cool. Okay, let's get you guys a wisdom of the oracle card. Hmm. Unfinished symphony, cool. Okay, let's get you guys a self-care. Connect with Earth. Okay, you, you guys are in a very interesting spiritual moment, spiritual awakening. I know, but I'm getting a lot of Interesting and spiritual energy from your guys' group. Okay, finally, I'm gonna grab a few of these tea leaf cards. January. Vult, Vulture. Okay. So I see that you guys have recently gone through some sort of upsetting or difficult point in your life or you're, you know, you're still going through it. With the vulture, it says depression, anxiety, worry that someone is against you. And then we got January here. Maybe this um, year and 2020 have been, because I feel like for a lot of people, it's been a really hard year from losing work to losing loved ones to just very stressful times. And it could be that. I also could see that it might also be just an emotional situation where you you lost someone, whether it be the ending of a relationship or some sort of, you know, something happened where it caused a lot of grief and emotional pain. But with this in reverse, I see that you're really coming out of it. I feel like right now you're in a sort of 
you may have this depression or anxiety, but I feel like you're in this hermit mode. And as a result, you're sort of seeing the light, so to say, like with this lantern up here. By spending time alone, or not even alone, but just that's something that you feel like would be bad for you. Maybe just spending a lot of time self-reflecting and really connecting with yourself spiritually. I'm, I'm saying it's going to bring you a lot of healing with the star and the healing card right here. Geranium. No, there's a huge focus on healing for you guys because I feel like, you know, you guys have a sort of strong psychic gifts or purpose or something of that sort and you need to go through this period of time to sort of get connected with your intuition and your abilities. I feel like you're very strongly intuitive and maybe it's something since a kid that you've just blocked out that you don't like it makes you uncomfortable whatever the situation is or you've just learned to be like oh that's fake or whatever and maybe you're even watching this video because you're starting to entertain the idea that you know intuit intuition and the divine and whatever you believe in or are thinking of believing in you know could be true and I feel like this period of time is really just a lot of shadow work and it's sort of blossoming you into this high priestess. I see you coming out very strong and very connected with your intuition because I feel like you have a very, very strong intuition with this Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and High Priestess. I just, I really do get the feeling that you're not comfortable with it. Like, here, step out of your comfort zone. Maybe, for example, if you believe in ghosts and spirits, um, I do, but perhaps you had some experiences as a child and it really freaked you out. Like, maybe you're a medium and you just haven't been taught or learned how to deal with that. And maybe when you were younger, you had experiences that really freaked you out and you're like turned away from your abilities and like, no, I don't like this. It's scary. No. And I feel like, or maybe you have dreams that come true and it freaks out. Whatever the situation is, I feel like you're not super comfortable with the idea of intuition, but you're now when you're in this hermit mode, you're starting to explore it more. Like I said, that may be why you're watching this video. And I think you're being asked at the moment to step outside your comfort zone. And that doesn't mean do something crazy like that you're just really uncomfortable with. But I think you should take baby steps and really think about it's okay to challenge your beliefs and ideas. And it's actually good for you to do that because it helps you grow as a person and empathize with other people more. And you can see from different um, viewpoints and humble yourself to where you know that like I'm not always right and it's okay that I'm not always right and it's very mature of me to admit that. Yeah, I'm getting the strong childhood thing with unfin unfinished symphony because for some reason when I see this I'm thinking like there's something of a spiritual regard from your childhood that you just turned away from. And it's this sort of unfinished thing that you're being called back to look at. Maybe an event from your past that you see as being really scary that maybe turned you away from your intuition is sort of unfinished and there's more to it. And maybe that will help you heal. So I'm going to read from the booklet for this unfinished symphony card. Let's see here. Okay, unfinished business, an incomplete lesson. I'm definitely saying that, incomplete lesson. Lack of closure, the need to make amends. This is a time to tie up loose ends as you near the completion of a cycle or project in the mastery of a lesson or skill. Before you can move forward, it's important that you come to terms with where you are now. 
practice radical acceptance, take inventory so that emotional and psychological closure can occur and the answers you seek will be found. You can't move forward if you're leaving things unfinished. Reflect on what has passed so that the symphony can finally end on a high note. Yeah, I'm really feeling there's something from your past, maybe childhood, that you just haven't thought about enough, that you blocked out, that you're just like, no. And I feel like another thing I should say is that you are protected and you are in a state of healing. And I don't think revisiting any past memories you know, it may be scary, and maybe that's why you're just so mm, about it. Because as a child, maybe it was a traumatizing event or a really just unsettling one, whatever it was with, I'm feeling, you know, intuition, mediumship, whatever it is. And But I feel like I should say, you know, you are, the universe is looking out for you. This is something they want for you. They want you to get more in touch with them. And they're not going to hurt you or bring you towards deep harm for that, if that makes sense. I feel like this is not going to be, it may be a little scary as it's stepping out of your comfort zone, but I feel like in the end you're going to be much wiser. You're going to understand more about yourself, the world around you, and you're going to, it's just a huge healing process. So let's read the healing card from the Green Witch Oracle. Seven, okay. Let's see here. Okay. So the oracle meanings are it is time to take everyone's opinion into account, and while you may need to make a compromise, there should be a good outcome. Geraniums indicate you need to take time out to care for yourself, the hermit and the star. And connect more fully with your higher and lower self. Cooperation with others and creativity in groups are also needed. All intolerance and self-indulgence are to be avoided. And I'm going to read you guys this healing spell just in case you are interested in doing something of that sort. So it says, mix up a crystal water remedy to promote healing. Place a few geranium flowers, a clear quartz, and a bloodstone crystal in the lovely jar and fill with water. Sip as needed to promote healing on all levels. Keep refrigerated for three days. The crystals can be washed and reused. And of course, with your self-care, it says connect with the earth. And it's just bringing me back to you're in a really huge spiritual point of your life where you are healing. You are almost being pushed to get in touch with your intuition, to not ignore it. And I think one thing that may be really helpful helpful for you through this process is connecting more with earth grounding yourself more going outside more if that is available for you because i i am getting such strong witchy spiritual energy from you guys and yeah like i said i think something that will be really helpful and calming for you is spending time outside on earth or nature or you know, the woods, whatever it is, and just maybe meditating or praying, if that's something you want to do. Something as simple as just setting the intention to try and communicate with spirit or your ancestors. Because the universe really seems to want to work with you, and they see that you really have some unfinished business, and I feel like you've gone so long without acknowledging it. And through this heartache or whatever happened, it seems like the universe is like, oh, you're stuck inside because of COVID. Now is the perfect time to make you do all this, I guess, self-searching, um, you know, type of stuff where you really just deep dive into yourself and spend time alone and learn so many different things about yourself. So yeah, maybe, maybe you entered into this um, phase in January or maybe you'll be coming out of it in January, but whatever the situation is, the month of January is um, acknowledged. Okay, ESFJs, I, 
I like this reading a lot. The energy is very <laughs> cool, I guess. That makes them like kind of lame to say, but it does feel really powerful to me. Very powerful energy for you guys. And you need to, you should embrace it. I think it'll be good for you and your healing. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoyed this reading and I hope it resonated. Thank you so much for watching and hopefully I'll see you guys next time. Bye.